Good morning, everyone. Brian here with BMK Magic Explorations. Uh, this video is a bit impromptu, but I had uh, a little bit of a reason for going ahead and making it. I've had a uh, another little local pickup uh, from my local game exchange retailer of some films which have a little bit of, uh, one way or another, a magical theme or something along the lines of the themes of this channel, which... Although I haven't got around to reviewing any of the ones I already have yet, as promised, uh, I've just been, you know, as I said, the content here is going to be kind of intermittent, and um, I've been between busy and lazy and just haven't had a chance, and you know, you have to kind of rewatch them to get a good grasp on what you're going to say about and uh, a good understanding of the elements that you're going to be reviewing, so it's going to come down. For now, I just picked up three more yesterday. And wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek by uh, doing this little bit of a local pickup video to show them off real quick. By the way, I did have copies of all three of these back in the day when I was younger, but since I moved out of uh, my uh, adopted parents' home, you know, a lot of things I didn't get to take with me. Anyway, first up we have <clears throat> The Illusionist. This is a kind of old one by now. In fact, all three of them are, but... This is pretty good if you want to see a little bit of a depiction of uh, old school uh, stage magicians at work uh, with uh, Edward Norton here in that role. And also there's a good deal of uh, a little bit of an intriguing uh, dramatized uh, mystery subplot in there too. At least in terms of, you know, uh, what they're up to goes deeper than just watching a guy performing to earn his living. And I actually really love this one uh, back when I first had the a copy of it um, back around the time it first came out and uh, I'm glad, very glad to recollect it because this is an excellent film in the genre. Just a sec here, I'm getting this thing to want to go back over. Just do it top wise. Yeah, be freaking give me if they're so silly that they've got where it's just so narrowed out that it's hard to get back in from the bottom. Oh well, I don't expect these companies that put these things out to be perfect in what they're making. Just decent. Number two, we have <clears throat> Pathfinder, and this one's the unrated uh, version, which it also says here that it's um and it. Yeah, it's an unrated extended edition. I originally had a copy of this, which I'm not sure if it was actually just the uh, the original regular release or like this. So uh, once I do get down to actually watching this one for sure, it may have some things I didn't see before back in the day. Basically, this one's a good uh, good fit for anybody who follows, say, oh, German Germanic neo paganism, uh, heathenry, uh, or. Uh, Uh, Nordic or Norse neo-pagan path, which, you know, because basically the whole plot here is, as we know historically, well before Christopher Columbus or anybody else really allegedly rediscovered North America as a continent back in the day, well, Vikings had actually stumbled over this way and found it and then came back to revisit, uh, as far as I understand it, more than once. By then, though, they really weren't the types to tell much anybody about it, and they really didn't find any good reason to stay. And kind of as depicted here, Native uh, Inuit, or Eskimo, uh, Native Americans, and they got into it, and uh, so, you know, that, that there, there's a lot of reasons why they didn't actually get much more done. The one thing I don't like about this, in a way, is that the Vikings are depicted as being bloodthirsty, destructive, just bringing death and destruction, which actually, for Viking raids and stuff like that, the way they were back in the day, that's not entirely 100% inaccurate. But at the same time, you know, I'm the type, you know, I'm a fan of uh, being a syncretic, eclectic, neo-pagan witch who dabbles in many different systems. I have sympathies for both the Viking side and the Native American side here, so we'll get around to reviewing this one more thoroughly later on. But uh, like I said, for anybody who's uh, around heathenry, uh, Nordic or Norse or Germanic neo-paganism, this would actually be an entertaining film. 
because kind of what it depicts is a highly dramatized version of those types of events, or at least one of them, but wouldn't be 100% uh, entirely historically inaccurate either. Just have to take it as you know, a work of fiction that was inspired by real events. And finally, we have the Pristage, which is um, basically Pristage is a term with stage magic magicians for what the key part of uh, a particular effect is supposed to be. That's supposed to be the go, ooh, ah, moment for the audience where, you know, they finally are, again, amazed by what's they've just seen. Sorry about the glare, some. I really enjoy this one, too, because, um, well, Hugh Jackman and um, Christian Bale in this one are two competing stage magicians who are trying, they're rivals, and they keep trying to outdo one another, and I'm not going to give any spoilers, uh, at least not before I actually get around to reviewing the whole thing, but um, it goes way too far, gets kind of ugly, creepy, and um, even kind of horrifying but before the very end of it all, so... Yeah, um, couldn't you guys just be kind of friendly, though still have a little bit of rival, rivalry as competitors without having to take it all? I mean, seriously, that's just, um, those they take it to, you think these guys really do hate each other, and I guess to a degree they do. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Um, I especially liked it because up to this point, I hadn't seen Hugh Jackman in much more than the live-action X-Men films, and also, um, <coughs> excuse me, allergies. Also in um, Van Helsing, uh, but this one really does show that he is a much more diverse actor than that limited selection would show you, and he's pretty talented and can pull off quite a bit more roles than just, say, Wolverine or Van Helsing. Uh, he's very good at um, showing that he can go, um, I guess you would say, a bit gritty and uh, still emotional, and it just shows he can pull off a character that's way more than just what we would have seen prior with him. And up to this point, as far as I know, he wasn't in a whole lot else than those things, so it was a good way to showcase that he's a much more diverse actor than he that we people might have had been getting an impression of it up to that point. Anyway, that's those three that I have on that one. And I did not want this video to run super long anyway, so I actually was kinda of in the middle of my morning postings for my social media and stuff and I decided, you know, I actually did pick these three up yesterday, Thursday, and since it's Friday morning, this is about the time I'd usually do this, but also I was debating on whether or not to let it sit for a bit. I mean, you can tell looking at my window here that it's already getting pretty daylight out, at least early morning daylight, and I'd usually be doing this when it was dark. But I was just exhausted yesterday after everything and didn't get around to having a chance to make it all work. So I just said to myself, let me go ahead, even though it's getting kind of daylight, and let's go ahead and do this before this gets to be too long after I pick them up. Uh, anyway, they cost me put together, um, well, two of them were $4.99 a piece, plus a two cents tax, with the third one being free at my local game exchange retailer. That's one of their deals up there. Buy two, get one free on DVDs. And you could say it's still a bit since it, together I paid $10.80, for three DVDs, three used DVDs, but you could go a lot worse than that. Um, I do remember time was a bit cheaper there, but still, that's a reasonable deal. I mean, everything's a lot more expensive now than it used to be, so I wouldn't complain too much about that. So I just wanted to show those off to you guys and give you a little preview of what I'm going to eventually be reviewing on the channel that has a little bit of a magical theme. I am glad I got The Illusionist and The Prestige because really, I've been looking for copies of both of those before, and one of the clerks up there thought that I may have bought The Illusionist back in December while I looked through my stuff. No, I did not buy a copy of The Illusionist in December, or if I did, where is it? I may be kind of a disorganized guy who has organized chaos for his way of keeping things, but if I have something I'm looking for, I can usually find it pretty fast, so... But uh, The Illusionist and The Prestige, I'd both been looking for uh, a copy of up there instead of having to, like, say, order them online for some months, and they hadn't shown up. But yesterday, they both were there. And Pathfinder, I'd really enjoyed, and i actually been thinking about this film again, off and on, for uh, maybe about two months or so. 
So I just happened to check the shelf and see, since I usually have them in pretty much alphabetical order, and see if they just happened to have a coffee. And I'll be darned, they did. That's how I found all three of these. And like I said, having been looking for the Prestige and the Illusionist before and not finding them, I was very happy to find them. And then Pathfinder was just a nice um, bonus. And since I haven't had as much chance to do as much with the stage magic side of my content as I would like yet, and a bit more into the supernatural magic side, it's kind of nice to find those both since they both are two very good films to go into that category. Anyway, let's see here. Not sure I can't see exactly how much it's saying time this video was run for, but for a simple local pickup video, I didn't want to run too, too long. Anyway, if you enjoy this channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comments section below. Blessed be to everyone, have a wonderful Friday, and hopefully I will see everyone back here again in the next video.